in visual art class, we always want to be learning and growing and getting better as an artist. And one of the ways we can do that is that we use what's called the principles and elements of design to make our art better and more successful. So we use these concepts and techniques and ideas and we learn about them to help us to improve our artwork and grow as an artist. So we're going to focus on two ideas, value and contrast, and those we're going to incorporate into our little mini Christian Watson inspired drawings that we've done already for part two and we're going to add value and contrast to make them a little bit better. So when we think of value, that's basically the range of lights to darks. So this little scale here is what's called a value scale. And we want to have lights to darks in our drawings. And we also want to have a contrast of those lights to darks. We want to have very dark and we want to have very light. So this little mini drawing here, we would say does not have value and contrast yet. Whereas this drawing, the artist has added contrast and the artist has added value. So in the way that we're going to start off here is we're going to practice different techniques of adding value. So you're going to be making in your sketchbook a page that looks like this that has hatching, cross hatching, a scribble technique, and a crisscross. And you're, those are the first initial ways we're going to practice this drawing value. So the way you're going to do it is to start off is to find something in your house that will create a circle and you're going to make four circles in your sketchbook. Here I'm using just the middle of a tape roll and making four little circles. And then I'm going to be doing hatching in one of those, cross hatching in one of those, a random mark and a, um, and a crisscross. Um, as four different ways to add value to learn about that into your drawings. So this is my sped up version coming for you guys right away. So the first one I'm doing is hatching. So hatching is when the lines are all going in one direction. So I'm doing it dark to light. So similar to the value scale that we looked at. So you're going to have dark that's fading into a medium that's fading into light. Here I'm doing like a scribble technique. So just like scribbles. And I'm going over certain areas again and kind of going back and reworking and fixing. I think it took me about half an hour to do this whole page. You're going to be watching it in about 30 seconds um, and so just think about it taking you probably about half an hour to do it properly here's cross hatching where you go one way and then you cross back on it the other way and then this one is um, just like a little bit of a crisscross so like little little lines added up just kind of crossing over almost like little X's on top of each other so that one is similar to kind of the scribble um, but it's a little a little bit different in that way and so the idea is that you want to have a dark fading into medium, fading into light for all four of those. And that would be the first value practice. So there's the hatching one close up. Here's the cross hatching close up. There's the scribble technique. And the crisscross. Now you have the option, you can do it with a pen, the one that like I just did in that one, or you can also do a pencil. So you're either gonna do four like that or four that are done with a pencil. That's your choice of however you would like to do it. So the same way you're gonna make four circles and, um, and then using the pencil to do it in a similar kind of way. I wanted to give you guys the choice because some people prefer to work with pencil or some people prefer to work with a pen. And also maybe if you usually work with pencil, maybe you want to challenge yourself to work with a pen um, or vice versa in that way. So the first one I do here is just a regular shading where I'm just sort of um, softly adding and layering up the the pencil and then I'm smudging it with my fingers and then layering up again smudging with my fingers again going from dark to light so the idea is that you're having these dark to lights in your drawing so this is practice to start to add those dark to lights in different ways into your drawing here I'm doing hatching with the pencil so lines added up in one direction here I'm doing cross hatching with a pencil lines added up in one direction and then crisscross on it the other way and then this is a scribble technique in the same way just same way with the pen but done with a pencil adding it up layering and making it darker and then fading 
into medium and then into light. And then here is the hatching with pencil. Here's the cross hatching with pencil. Here's just the, the shading and then smudging with your finger. And there's the scribble technique, light to dark with a pencil. Now this image here does not have any value yet. It's a great starting point because it's a great little first drawing, but it definitely can have more, right? And so the idea is that we want to add in that value, which is what happens with, you know, with this image has value and this image has contrast. You can see that has hatching. You can see there's cross hatching. You can see the artist here has used value in different ways to add up. So the idea is that we're moving from that to this one. And you're doing that with your little mini drawings.